Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Grace and previously my channel was all about my travels and through hiking, but really since the pandemic I have become a wife and now a twin mama recently. And so my channel has kind of morphed into some motherhood, but also some family travel adventure kind of content. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, I would love if you would consider subscribing. But you can always just watch the video first and see if you even like me, who knows. But anyway, um, today's video I'm really, really excited about. I'm going to be talking about my holy grail products. I'm talking from pregnancy through six months old. I'm talking mom stuff, but also baby stuff. Probably mostly baby stuff. But things that have made my life easier, things that have made my life just a little bit more organized, happier, calmer, totally worth the money kind of stuff. I'm gonna have a part two of this that'll come out in a few days that's going to be my holy fails. <sighs> but that's gonna be a really fun video. I have a lot of fails to talk about, yes. But I have a lot of holy grail products as well. Obviously, let's be real, everybody's experience is different. Every person is different, every baby is different. So these are things that worked for me and my babies. I have twins, but only a couple of these are like twin specific. Most of these will be valid for anybody with a baby. The reason why I'm stopping at six months is because my girls are currently six months old. So. I don't know past that. <laughs> but if you happen to not like some of these products, that's super valid. You are welcome to share your experience down in the comments below to kind of educate other people on your experience. But these are things that really did work for me, so I want to give them a shout out. This video is in no way sponsored. These are all products that I bought with my own money or was gifted at my showers, which I'm very grateful for, but this is not sponsored. I will have everything linked in the description bar below and I will have a number in one of these corners <laughs> that will show you where you can find each of these links. I will also have a link to my Amazon storefront. I have more products in there that I really like. These are literally like my holy grail top products. So there's lots more products that I really enjoy and really worked for me. So you can go over and peruse some of those as well. Full discretion, I these are affiliate links through Amazon. So if you happen to purchase a product using one of these links, then my I would get a little kickback that would support this channel, but it's completely up to you but I just want that to be known. But again, none of this is actually sponsored, but those are affiliate links. Okay, let's get into it. So my first product is actually a bottle. I was recommended so many different types of bottles, as most people are. Everybody has, you know, the bottle that worked for them and their baby. But the one that ended up working for us was a little, uh, one that I had never heard of before, which is why I want to give it a shout out. Everybody talks about Dr. Brown's bottles, the Tommy Tippy, Como Tomo. Those are all fine. We tried those, but eh, they were just okay. The Dr. Brown one has so many pieces to it. The Como Tomo, my girls are starting to like it a little bit more now that they're bigger. But the one that worked from day one for us was this one. It's by the brand Evenflow, which until I had kids, I didn't had never heard of this brand, but actually it's a pretty big brand in baby stuff. But this bottle was what was um, recommended by my lactation consultant because I was having some breastfeeding issues at the beginning. Um, and so she said that this is the bottle that she recommends to everyone because I guess the nip is closest to a lady, you know? <laughs> and so my girls took to this and have loved it ever since. So we ended up purchasing a bunch more of these and yeah, it's really great. The only downside <laughs> that my mom found with it is the numbers are a little bit hard to read on the side, but I think my mom is the only one that has that issue. But this has been a really, really great bottle. So if you're hoping to breastfeed but also use bottles, which most people are, maybe look into Evenflow. Next up is a product for moms, okay? So when you are getting pregnant, I think everyone is worried about your skin stretching from growing a big belly, and that's super valid. So what are you gonna put on it to kind of help just stretch and maybe help prevent stretch marks? There's lots of products out there, but some of them have kind of questionable 
ingredients, but the one that I ended up using is the one that my sister recommended. It's very budget friendly and I'm pretty happy with the ingredients. There isn't anything that really had a red flag for me. And it is this one. It is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Oil. I have it in the rose hip. They also have just an original scent. Um, I'm actually not usually a fan of rose scent, but for some reason I like this scent a lot and the original one is just not my favorite. So, but if you really hate scents, you can get the original, which doesn't really have a scent. Um, it's good for stretch marks. Um, you can use it even when you're not pregnant. It says aging skin, uneven skin tone, blah, 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 blah. But, so here's my story with, with stretch marks. I made it to about like 34 weeks or something like that before I got a single stretch mark. And I think a lot of that had to do with this. I did finally at the very end start to get a couple stretch marks, but they weren't that bad and they have like completely faded. And I attribute a lot to this. I've gone through a couple of these bottles. This might be the third one, third or fourth one. I started using it, I think in the second trimester, and then I used it every single day. Morning and night is when I would use it. And it lasts a really long time. You only need like two or three squirts for your belly. As it grows, obviously, you probably need three. But, and then I've, I've used it since having the babies, just with my skin going down. Um, and I really think it's helped my stretch marks to fade. And my sister had the exact same experience as well. She got stretch marks at the very end, but this has helped her stretch marks to really fade. So, the, the really wonderful thing is it's like, I don't mean, don't quote me, but like seven or eight dollars. Whereas some of those stretch mark oils are like, there's one that's really popular that's like 60 bucks 60 bucks and I'm sure it's good but like I don't think you need that you can get this at like Walmart and Target and Amazon and yeah okay you guys this next product is maybe my number one holy grail product the product that I want to from here on out be my forever baby shower gift that is how much I love this <sighs> this baby right here. What is this thing you're wondering? Oh my gosh, let me explain. My love. <laughs> this is a hip seat, okay? I will insert some footage of me wearing it because it's a little bit hard to like show you, but basically this goes around your waist and your baby sits here. It's a cushioned seat. There are pockets for days. There's a big pocket right here. There's a nice pocket here with a little pocket here. Um, there's even like a little bottle pocket right here. I mean, I think it's mostly for a baby bottle or a sippy cup, but I think you could also put like a little water bottle in there for you too. The Velcro is super strong. Then there's also like a buckle clasp here. There's even another, I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> but you guys, once your baby hits about, for me, it was my babies were about six months old, five to six months. They want to be held all the time. And especially with twins, there's always a baby that wants to be held. And when you just hold them on your hip, you have to walk wonky. It's so tiring on your arms and your back and your hips. That like takes all of it away. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Yeah, does it look ridiculous? Yeah, you look dumb. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> At least I do. But I don't even care because it's so wonderful. Like it takes almost all of their weight off of your back and your arms. It's not like an, like a, a free hand product. Like you can't completely not hold your baby. You do kind of need to... You can make sure they're secure, but like you literally can almost be totally freehand. Like they are on there secure and both of my girls love it. They love it. And I, oh my gosh, you guys, I could just like preach about this product all day long. I'm going to link a couple down below because they come at a bunch of different price points. The one that I actually got for some reason right now it's not available and I don't really know why, but like so many companies make versions of this. So I'll find a couple that I think are super, super similar to the one that I have. I think the one I got from, cause I put this on my registry. I think it was about like $40. So again, I'll put a couple different price points so you can get ones cheaper or more expensive. You can kind of just look at the different features that each of them have, but Oh, you guys, they're just so nice. I love them so much. Okay, you guys, this next, I promise, this isn't sponsored because I don't think this company like really sponsors anybody, but everybody talks about this company. There's a hair, hold on. Okay, everybody talks about this com company 
because it's so good. It's, uh, it's Love Every. You guys, I'm sure you've heard about Love Every and you might be totally on board, excited to get it, or you might be like, that is just so, you know, expensive and not needed. And I mean, no, it's not needed, but it is really good. It is like, I, I understand the hype. I get it. They have the mat, which I'll insert some footage. I actually got my mat off of Facebook Marketplace, so you can always look there. Uh, because it is expensive for a play mat. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. It is expensive, but it is really high quality. And what I like as a twin mom is it's really big. I actually have two other mats that were like hand-me-downs, which is so, so generous. And I'm so thankful for them because I can have a mat in different parts of my house now. But they're way smaller, and so I do really like that about the Love Every if you happen to be pregnant with twins. But, you guys, what comes in the subscription boxes, and that we're like six months in, so we've only gotten, I think it's like every other month, so we've gotten like three boxes. They're like so high quality, and my girls have loved everything. Literally, I'm going to show you a couple of the products. Literally, their favorite toy in the entire world is this. Some ASMR for you. It's like literally a crinkle bag. They go nuts for this, both of them. Like literally, if they are sitting there and they're they're upset and crying, I will hand them this and suddenly everything's fine. Like, I don't know who they need more, me or this crinkle bag. They love it. Um, this is another super fun one. More ASMR for you. It's, they're so simple, but like my babies go nuts for them. They love them and they're so high quality. Eventually, I think I probably will like package them all back up in the groups that they came and sell them on Marketplace, but I'm saving these for future kids because I have no doubt that these are gonna last a really long time and then be able to be sold to other kiddos or donated or whatever I end up doing. But like they are such good quality. They're made of really good materials that are safe for your baby. Also the cool thing about this company is anytime, every time that you get a new box, they'll send you an email that has a video with, I guess it, she's, I think she's the founder of the company and she will walk you through each and every one of the products and how to use them. And then it also comes with a booklet that walks you through how to use them, um, when to use them, milestones your baby should be getting to, other activities you can do with your baby at this age. It's so cool. And me as a future, hopefully homeschooled mama, like I'm so excited to like, they're six months old, but like I'm able to really start teaching them things and it's so neat. Last thing I'm gonna show you is this book, More Crinkle, the high contrast pictures. They send you a bunch of those. They love this paint, specifically these. This really, really helped them. My girls were a little bit behind on learning to like reach out and grasp. Um, and I think it's just because they were twins and they came a little bit early. But this really got them to do it. Like I would kind of like hang it in front of them like this and they would just reach out and they love it and they love to feel. And so I love this little felt, not felt, but cloth book. Love it so much. Ugh. It's a good company, you guys. Next up, this one will be pretty quick. It's just a nail file. You don't have to get this specific one. I'll link one or two down below, but it's basically just an electric nail file. There's a gajillion of these on Amazon, all different price points, but basically it comes with all these different heads that you can choose kind of what your baby needs at the time. You just put it on there and you turn it on. Wow, this is so much ASMR. It makes clipping their nails so painless. I cannot even imagine trying to clip their nails with actual clippers because baby nails, here's, here's a little thing for you first time mamas. Baby nails have to be clipped like every day, if not twice a day. And even when they're so short, you can they can still scratch themselves. Like I don't even know how it's physically possible sometimes. They, if I'm like, I don't want to like clip them anymore because they're so short and yet they still scratch themselves. So I don't know how you would even physically do it with actual clippers without making them bleed. That would be so sad. So that makes it so painful, painless, 
made list. My girls don't care at all. They're just like literally little Evie. She's like, <laughs> like, go ahead, mom. Like she doesn't care. So that's, that's just easy. Get that so you don't have to freak out about clipping their nails because you gotta do it a lot. Next one, another kind of quick one will be this elephant bath thing. You literally put it in the bathroom. With your, <laughs> I'm just gonna, you put it in the bath with your babies in the water. This part goes in the water and then you push these little buttons right here. Oh, you hear that? And water comes out. And not only is it just so nice for washing especially their hair, because you really don't want to get the soap in their eyes, obviously. And so this is just really, really nice for like targeting different parts of their head to get their, their hair free of shampoo. But it's also just a nice stream. The shower head that we have obviously has like a little a big version of this, but it's just the water's too powerful to like really, really get in there. So this is nice and and soft. But then on top of that, as they get bigger, this is also a fantastic bath toy. This is another thing that my sister swears by, and I'm so glad that I got it. This is another like potentially just go-to baby shower gift from here on out because it just makes your life and bath time fun and functional. This next one is kind of a no-brainer, but if you're a first-time mom, you might not know that this exists. This thing right here. What is this? This is a formula holder. So whenever you go out and you need to bring bottles and formula with you, if you're a formula mama, you just measure out how much formula you're going to need. They have four compartments in here, and you just rotate it around and open it and then put the formula in, and it is pre measured out for you. I have two of these since I have two babies. This has been amazing because we take our babies out. We obviously go places and go to church and stuff, but we go hiking a lot. And so sometimes our hike is long enough that the babies are going to need a bottle while out in the wilderness. So we just bring this along. It's awesome. These are just like a couple bucks. You can get them literally everywhere. But in case you didn't know that this exists, it does. And it's awesome. Next up is a very popular product that you probably either already have or have a hand-me-down or whatever, and it's the boppy. I'm just gonna have to sit here. <laughs> so the boppy is a couple different things. I'm gonna give you a look and then I'm gonna put it away. So I think first and foremost, the boppy was, oh, there's like hair everywhere. The boppy was first and foremost like a breastfeeding pillow and lots of people use it as that and I used it a little bit as that. It was fine. Um, but it also is just a really good rest for your baby so they can kind of sit up. So that's nice. It's also nice as they're learning to sit, you can put it around them so as they're kind of wobbling they won't actually fall onto the floor and hurt themselves. There are so many uses for the boppy. Oh, it's also really good for tummy tie. So literally there's so many uses. I actually have two. I have that one is an actually official boppy. And then I have one that's kind of like a, it's a smaller version. I think it's, I don't know if knockoff is the right word, but it's a different brand. Um, but it's a little bit smaller. So it was great because my two babies were fairly different sizes. So my bigger baby used the bigger boppy and my smaller baby used the smaller boppy and it was great. So actually both of mine were hand-me-downs. So I'm sure you can find them on Facebook Marketplace or ask around, but I definitely think it is worth a purchase. Okay, and now the remaining things I don't physically have with me because they're either too big or I don't have them anymore for a specific reason or my babies are currently using them, you will see. So I will insert footage or pictures as I talk about them. So let's talk my diaper pail. Is a diaper pail absolutely necessary? No. But is it nice to have? Sure. So we have a diaper pail that I just willy nilly put on the registry, not expecting anyone to get it for us. And if nobody had, I probably wouldn't have bought it. I probably would have just gotten a regular trash can, which is totally fine. Trash cans are designed to hold in smell as well. But I put the Ubi on. I would say stay away from the ones that do require the specific inserts because those are expensive. You're gonna run out when you need it. Ugh, it's just, I've heard so many times from so many women, don't do it. So the Ubi takes just a traditional trash bag that you already have in your house, but it really traps the smell, you guys. Since I have twins, 
I'm glad I have it because we have so many diapers, you guys. Twins go through four to 6,000 diapers in the first year. And I feel like my girls might be closer to the 6,000. And also our diaper pail is right in our bedroom. So I wanted to trap the smell really effectively. So I love the Ubi. I think it's great. I think it's absolutely worth it. Now that my girls are a little bit bigger, we're changing out... We're emptying it probably about twice a week, and we don't put every single diaper in there, just whichever ones we change upstairs, but it's just, it's really nice. I really appreciate having it. It's a good product, so I recommend it. Next, the next two products are a little bit 50-50, and I will explain why. So, first one was a wipe warmer. I was not going to get a wipe warmer because I had heard that they're unnecessary, they dry out your wipes, whatever. And so I was not planning to get one. However, comma, I ended up having a preemie baby who had a lot of trouble regulating her temperature, her bodily temperature for the first few weeks, even couple months of her life. And I also live in Idaho and gave birth in early February, so it was freezing. So... I felt so horrible. I felt like such a bad mom when I would get up in the in the night to have to change her and I would put her down and have to change her with a cold wipe and she was so cold already even though she was so bundled but her body just was having trouble regulating its temperature. And so I broke down and I bought a wipe warmer for her and I'm really glad that I did. It really made a difference for those first few months of her life until her body was able to really regulate and it started to get a little bit warmer here in Idaho. So if you are in my situation where you live in the north and you're going to give birth in the winter, I think a wipe warmer is worth it. It really, I don't think it dried out wipes that fast. The one that I bought, I will try to find the one that I got, um, but I might link a couple of them. But the one that I had had this like foam insert that went in the bottom that you just saturated with water and then that would help keep the the wipes really wet um and so as long as you kept that saturated and I mean I'm talking like once every couple weeks I would get it wet again um I really didn't have trouble with wipes um drying out so I don't think it is necessary for everyone and every baby, but if you're in kind of a similar situation or if you have preemies and you're bringing them home, I think a wipe warmer might be worth it. Next up is another kind of 50-50 product. I loved it, but I didn't use it very much, and that is the My Breast Friend Twin Breastfeeding Pillow. Now, the breastfeeding, My Breast Friend breastfeeding pillows, how many times can I say breast? are awesome. They are strong. Your babies feel secure. It's great. So I really had a desire to tandem feed and I worked with a lactation consultant and she said that my breast friend ones are her favorite. She swears by them. But unfortunately for me, my breastfeeding journey just didn't last very long. One of my twins was not interested and the other one just struggled to gain weight and breastfeeding was just too much for her and so I had to give up after about seven weeks and that was a very emotional decision for me and I just became a pumper after that. So did I use the My Breast Friend pillow for very long? No, but when I did use it I really really liked it and I think if you have a more successful breastfeeding journey than I did then I think it's absolutely worth it. I actually have the single one still. I sold the, the twin one um, but I have the single one still. My sister gave it to me as a hand-me-down, and I'm holding on to that one for future babies because maybe breastfeeding would work out for me in the future. Maybe not. Who knows? But I think it's a great product, but it, yeah, I mean, it didn't really work out for me, but it wasn't the product's fault. The product is still really, really good. Okay, three more. I'm almost done. Let's talk my swing. I have two swings. They're both by Graco. One is the one that I'm going to show a clip of right now. I love this one. I love it so much. It is big, but it's fantastic. And the actual seat comes off of the base super easily and becomes a bouncer. It can swing both directions. Both of my babies really love it. It seems really comfortable. My other swing is the Small Spaces one by Graco, and it's fine, but it's not. Oh. 
I don't think it's that small and neither of my babies like it as much. So I wouldn't recommend that one necessarily. It's not a bad product, but I definitely think my other Graco one, I don't remember what it's actually called, but I'm showing clips, I'm sure at some point <laughs> in this spiel and it will be linked down below. It's really, really great. I like it a lot. I lied, I only have one more. <laughs> I went out of order. Anyway, my last one I also don't have to show you because my girls are currently using it. They are taking a nap right now using the Magic Merlin Sleep Suit, you guys. The hype is real. It is a magic product. I know it doesn't work for everybody, but I kind of challenge you, if you have tried it in the past and it didn't work for you, maybe try it again because it's really good. <laughs> my girls literally since... I don't... I feel even guilty saying this because I feel like I've had it so easy. Since about eight weeks old, my girls have slept through the night. Both of them, no problem. And I think it's mostly because of the Magic Merlin sleep suit. They, and they love it too. Like literally I will put them down for a nap and they get laid on it and they're like, oh my gosh, they're so excited. And they get this big smile on their face and they sleep like a rock. It's amazing. And it also is hilarious. They look like little astronauts and it's so cute. But you guys, it's amazing. I have just the size small, which I think is technically like three to six months. But my girls are quite small, so they still totally fit in it. No problem. If you have a bigger baby, you obviously might have to size up. You're supposed to stop using it once the baby can roll over in the suit, which my babies aren't quite there yet. I know it's not too far in the future that they're going to be able to roll in it, and so we're going to have to say goodbye, and that's going to be heartbreaking for both them and me. I really wish they made these in, like, adult sizes. I think I would love it. But, you guys, it... <laughs> It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, two uh, just uh, little tips of caution. First off, when you wash it, it does shrink. So if you are able to wash it and then air dry it, like line dry it or lay it out or something, because when you do dry it in a dryer, it does shrink up a little bit. Not drastically, but it does. And so that's kind of a bummer, but you can just air dry it. It takes a while because it's thick, but you can. Um, so that's what I try to do as much as possible. At this point, I bought one from the store and one um, from Marketplace, and the one from Marketplace clearly had been washed in a dryer um, or dried in a dryer, so it was already shrunk, and so it is what it is, whatever. But try to do that, and then the other thing is just be cautious. They make it in two different materials. They make it in a cotton, but then they also make it in like a fleece, and the fleece is awesome if it's winter and you live in a cold place, that's awesome, but it's also, the cotton one is already really warm, so just especially if you're buying it off of like marketplace make sure that it's the material that you're looking for because there was one that I almost bought on marketplace it was perfect but it was the fleece one and we were going into summer so I didn't want to actually buy that so just keep an eye out for that okay that is my holy grail list I would love to hear your thoughts have you used any of these products what do you agree with or do you disagree with any of them let me know also, if you liked this video and you would consider subscribing and liking, that really helps out my channel. I'm trying, I'm like in the midst of like bubbling growth, hopefully. And so a like and a subscribe, oh my gosh, makes my day and really helps my channel out. So I would appreciate that so much. Stay tuned for my Holy Fails video, which is coming in a few days. Because that one, I have some opinions that I want to get out. <laughs> okay, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!